2004 GMC Sierra 2500 HD having some issues with the uh, turn signals so going to go ahead and replace the flasher relay so let's go ahead and hop in the cab and I'll show you what's going on so really quick here just want to show you what it's doing so if I turn the key here the uh, left signal seems to work fine the problem I'm having is with the uh, right one so you can see I flip on the left one no issues there, but if I flip on the right, you can see it just turns on for a second and then stops. And then sometimes it'll go, it'll flash really fast and then uh, shut off. But you can see, it doesn't happen all the time, just once in a while here, see, just like that. And then if I turn on the hazards, you can see the right one's not, even, oh, there it goes. there it see it shuts off so having an issue i think it's with that uh flasher relay down there so let's go ahead and uh take that apart let's see so first thing you'll want to do is um we need to get this whole outer piece out on the dash here so what you want to do is just uh make sure your keys turn bring your shifter all the way down and uh, make sure you keep your foot on the brake or you can put on your parking brake don't want this truck rolling away. And then you can come over here. So we need to just remove this outer piece. So all you gotta do is pretty much just pull on this and pull out, it just kind of snaps in there. So pull out like that, come along here, do this side as well. And then you just kind of lift that out of there. So if I flip this over, you can see what those uh, little tabs look like. So just set that aside. And then you can put that back in park, turn your key off. So come down below the steering wheel here and our flasher unit is behind this panel here. So we need to remove this seven millimeter here. And then there's another one uh, behind this uh, trailer brake controller. So I'll have to remove that. So go ahead and remove this one first. That looks like it should just pop out of here. Unplug the connector here. And then you can see the screw is going to be right there. So let me take that off. And then all you do pretty much is just pull out like the top one there. So kind of just pull out. Same thing over here. Just undoes like that. And you can see kind of the same thing. You got these snapping clips like that. And so that flasher relay is going to be this unit right here. And what it does is it slides into this piece here, which goes into this little uh, fuse panel right here. So let's go ahead and remove that. So the best way I found at removing this is to get your hand in here, your right hand, and then using your thumb up here and a couple of your other fingers here, you'll want to wiggle this up and down as you're pulling outward with it. And you can also use your other finger here from your other hand to kind of help push it, but just go back and forth like that. said it's kind of tricky getting this out of here just go back and forth there we go and that just slides out just like that and there's what that looks like okay so let's take a look at our new one here um so i went with this one it's called the novita lm487 Got this one off of Amazon. I'll put a link in the description for it. But what's nice about this one is it supports LED lights. So I know a lot of guys, um, they're running LED tail lights or um, turn signals up front and you'll get that rapid flash. This will actually take care of that and stop it from doing that. 
So it's kind of nice that this supports LED, but it also supports uh, incandescent as well. So if you uh, take a look at it to the old one here, you see it pretty much looks the same thing. And then uh, take a look at the pins. You can see we, they both have uh, 10 pins. So let's go ahead and uh, stick this one in and let's see if it takes care of the issue. So when you go to install the new one, if you take a look here, you can see that you have this little arrow. So that is gonna be go on top. So it's gonna go in just like that. So make sure that arrow's on top because you don't wanna bend these pins or anything. Stick this up in there and that just slides in. There's no clips or anything. So just use your fingers, push that in as hard as you can. Make sure that's in all the way and you won't hear a click or anything because like I said, there's no clips. So just like that, let's go ahead and try it out. So let's go ahead and take a look and see if it's working. So I'll go ahead and try the right signal. You can see that's working. Just want to give it a few minutes here just to make sure before you know do a few clicks shut off come back on shut off seems like that's working fine now and just double check your left you see that's working and then also your hazards and you can see both of those are working whereas before the right one wasn't working the whole time. And then you can actually hear it and actually feel it clicking down here on that relay. So I think that took care of the issue. So let's go ahead and uh, get the rest of this put back together. So go ahead and get your piece snapped back in here. Make sure you get the uh, tabs lined up on the right corner here. Same with this left corner. And then you just push in and that clicks. And grab your two screws here. Get his trailer brake mount back up in here. back in here put that in next go ahead and grab your key go ahead and turn that get your gear selector all the way down get your trim piece up here put that kind of in place that down and over here to the left side just make sure these tabs are going to line up and then just pop that in back into place same with here so just like that put that back in park And then let's just double check just to make sure with everything back together. So there's our right signal. And that looks good. Left signal. So I think that worked. Okay, so that's gonna wrap up the video. Again, this was a 2004 GMC Sierra 2500 HD. Went ahead and replaced the flasher relay. That seemed to take care of our turn signal issue. So hopefully this video helps you out. Really easy job to do.
And if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. Check out all my other videos. Got a bunch on this truck alone. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.